What's up, everybody? It's your boy. It's LA. Welcome back to another take here with Esports with Elrod. And what a freaking week it has been. It started off with the New York Subliners just breaking open Roster Mania with Crim6 just unveiling everyone's laundry. And then it seemed in the wake of that that Optic Gaming was going to split up Ilya Dash and put him out in the market and set him out as restricted free agents. All to just re-sign them and hopefully break the optic curse. The optic curse has been if you drop a player, they go out the next year to win a championship, to get a ring. They said, okay, well, why don't we just drop them and pick them right back up? It invalidates the curse. Maybe the spell, the lift, the curse has been broken. Oh, you even had guys like Formal who were commenting on it. Chat, I told you, I have all the answers. Just, it's up to me whether or not I tell you them. <laughs> yeah, chat, like, here's the, here's the reason. Like, they just had to drop them so that they can win, like, the next champs, you know what I'm saying? Not like the little thing going around. You drop them, you win the next champs. Gotta drop them real quick and pick them back up. No one said that was against the rules. Now, I know a lot of the community, guys like Zuma, they're saying, you know, that Optic trolled us. And I think even that they know that it's not. It just seems from the outside looking in, you're like, oh my god, this was just a master class of getting Twitter engagement and just social media engagement in general. Hell, I've made like five different videos on it this week. But Dashy himself confirms that this was not, this was not a drill, that it indeed was real. Uh, it wasn't a troll, that they did explore some options. That you guys want to know if it was a troll? <sighs> what I will say, it was not a troll. Just put it like that. But there's more details. I'm not going to be like, just put it, I'm, I'll answer that part, but I'm not going to go into details. There's a lot of, uh, the past 24 hours have been insane. All the good, all the goodbye compilations. Nah, they were not stream, stream, stream. When I was seeing, like, the goodbyes, I was like, it was like a spear went through my heart. I swear to God. I was like, damn. I'm seeing goodbye tweets. I'm seeing, like, goodbye texts. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, wait, 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 wait. No, stream, just know, yo, from like heart to heart, yo, like, I'm, I think I'm, you think I'm fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> no, no, no. This hasn't been talked about in the league, but this is an unfortunate byproduct of having a franchise, especially a franchise that's $25 million. It would be irresponsible of that franchise not to explore all the different options that they have to earn extra money along the way. And if they have... Arguably one of the most talented ARs to ever be around and one of the hardest working, most skilled players within Illy, talented being Dashy. If why not explore options to see what they could or could not get and see what the fillers out there, what the market would look like if those guys were out. And they said, oh, hell no. And honestly, like if you take a look at the optic roster, who are you going to take away and add to make it better? It seems as good as it's going to get. Theoretically, you could catch lightning out of a bottle with that team. And they proved it with the first major. They, the two people, in my opinion, that got hit the hardest of this was probably Hydra because it was like 95% sure that Hydra was going to be Optic Hydra, which as an Optic fan, very much glad that didn't happen. And the one I kind of felt a little sympathy towards, a little empathy, whatever you want to call it, it would be Dylan Attach because I kind of wanted to see Attach become a part of Optic. And you never know, maybe in the future he can, uh, maybe as a content creator, but I could foresee him teaming up a slasher out with LAG. So it looks like the boys will be running it back just like 96, 97 Chicago Bulls with Michael Jordan. They're going to be running it back 2022, 2023 style. And the game that's going to be coming out is Modern Warfare 2. And if you go ahead and pre-order it, Call of Duty in the most recent blog post has already confirmed that you can get a free whole ass operator bundle. You get an operator and the bundle that comes with it for free just for pre-ordering the next Modern Warfare 2 game. Which I think they did something like this at the end of the Cold War season with the PPSH, if I don't, if I recall correctly. But nevertheless, who doesn't love free shit? With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I went and ended out with some gameplay. It's freaking Friday, so we're gonna shorten this up. I want all of you to touch some grass after you watch this video in its entirety, and I'll catch you guys at the end. Get up. I was like, what? Good job, man. If he's falling. Oh my god, I can't believe I stuck him. I'm pushing in through tunnel. Oh my god, I... Right here. Did you get a UAV? Yeah. Oh, that way. Would it, would it roll me from mid guard? I'm fucking... Elliot. 
Oh my god, no way you got wall sword like that, right? He just got shit on. Him. I saw that. Pop up. One more behind you, Pat. I know, I know. He's dead. Well, that ain't grotto, but. Pat behind the car. Uh, Ellie, if this automaton doesn't hit. Here, use mine. Use mine. No, I'm gonna use mine. No, no, use mine. No, no, I'm gonna use mine. No, 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 use mine. Be my guest. No. Use mine. No, 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 let's no. put it, let's try it, just put it, use mine, I use yours. No. Alright. I use mine. Alright, cool. Hey, can we get a UAV? We have the money. Elliot. What? The money. Grab the money. Here. Get the UAV. We are a team at, uh, Blue. Blue Thank you, Matt. <laughs> I was trying to be toxic. <laughs> There you go, flying in right in front of us. Three, two, one, beam! Okay, oh. Ooh. Oh, behind me. Behind us. Dang, I was so close to taking that, Elliot. <laughs> at our buy, at our buy. Hey, Pat, finish that one off for me. On the stairs. Hey, one flying into the right. I think that's one. There's one at the house, Pat. Point. Yeah, I'm kind of headed towards point. Someone have to come over here with me. I'm. I'm got Yeah, still here, still here, still here. Hello, Ellie. I'm coming. Watch your left. Watch your left. <laughs> we both good, bro. That was that was clean. That was just. It wasn't bad though. He knew how to play. Use it. We already bought it and used it. Here we get we can buy something else. I I wait. Where's the muni? Oh fuck! I need a muni. Money's gonna buy. Come on, Pep. Huh? That doesn't sound like someone's bugging me. No, 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 man. I'm buying a muni box. Oh, yeah. Alright, nowhere. Where are you going? I, I, I have six damage. <laughs> we got guys back at booty, booty point. Booty crack. What the fuck is booty point? Like, at the point of booty. Booty ball? Tailbone, shit. Guys dropping in in front Dude, of you. Dude, this auto is fucking... Is he... Is he assist? Dude, just, just on assist. Jeez. I'm, I'm way behind you guys. I'm 80 meters. We got guys dropping into our right behind the house. Behind the house. Oh, y'all left me. I feel deserted. Y'all pushed out of there. Okay. Aww. Fuck off this two. Y'all mom suck dick for quarters. I was waiting on it. I didn't even press down. What the? Enemy Ooh, save me that AK-40. Hey. hey, what hand stop are you using, Elliot? Uh, 768. The, the S398. The one for, uh... That is like ADS speed and uh, regular re recoil bob. My my auto is kind of picking up a little bit at the top. Oh, for that I use the carver, the carver grip. First one. That's what I'm saying you need to use mine. mine. No, but it's shredding. It just it just this slight slight thing. Hey, watch out! Somebody may be landing on their uh, blood out up here. Box in there, no. no, I don't even see it. Oh, oh he's dead. Down. 
Or is that that? On me. Oh, he hit me with gas. Dude, where was my... Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking hate this game. I'm done. We need to get to the no, man. Right just, let's just get in the, in the, in the pole service. We'll be alright. Dude, I fell off. I have fallen from tires and not broken my legs. Yeah, bro. That's, if it if it's at an angle like a wonky angle. That one, that fuck. one I guess. It was a winery. I'm pushing towards Keith. I just got shot. Winery jumped out. Yeah. Carefully. I need my throwing back. I don't know why I have Right here, right here, right here. Oh, damn it. It's two, it's two. It's two of them. They got place in that one. Right. Nice. What? He got Blood. One v one. Oh, oh no. that's Good. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> Way to end it. I appreciate you guys sticking around all the way through the video. If you guys like the energy that I'm putting out there, I stream on Twitch basically every day. I hop on around 8 p.m. Once all the big time streamers are done, I hop on. We can catch a vibe. It's good vibes only. And as Nick would say, it's peace and love positivity with a little bit of pizzazz thrown in there. So if you like what I'm putting out, go ahead and swing by Twitch in the evenings. Hang out. Let's catch some dubs and let's have some fun. If you like this video and you want to stay caught up in all your Call of Duty news, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, turn the notification bell on. Share this with a friend who didn't even realize gaming was as big and in-depth as it is. And for doing all of that, here is a picture of Annie. She's the cutest freaking Labradoodle in all of the land. And I heard that adding cute animals to your videos will increase engagement. So why not add a picture of my cute-ass dog? And with that being said, tell somebody you love them, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.